Good morning, Fargo. Tony Gehrig, Fargo City Commissioner. This is the How I Voted video for the meeting dated January 2nd of this year, 2018. Not a whole lot uh, to talk about on this agenda, but there are two things we'll talk about. One was raising your utility fees, and the other one was demolishing of a dangerous building. Uh, starting with the utility raise, um, this was a four to one vote. That was the dissent vote. Um, your utility should not be going up. Uh, we have told the people of Fargo that if you allow us to invest in your infrastructure, if you, uh, you know, if you allow us to take out $100 million loans for a new water plant and a new sewer plant, uh, if you allow us to partner with West Fargo and Horace and other communities to provide them with water and wastewater and not to mention the landfill, uh, then we can ultimately have an economy of scale <coughs> and your utilities should go down. And that's what we told you, that's how we sold it, and you said yes. You should have said yes, and you did. Uh, what we're doing now is we're raising utility fees. Um, we didn't raise it a lot. It's, it will cost you maybe a dollar or two a month, maybe a little bit more depending on how much you use. Uh, but the reality is, is it should be going down and not up at all. Um, so even, if, even though it was a small change, it's, it's changing the wrong direction. Okay. So uh, it's my belief that we are making plenty of money in utilities. Uh, if we we are basically moving, we're, we're making so much money in utilities that we're able to, to move 20% of our profit into the general fund. So this is not about utilities. This is about finding more money to run bigger government, uh, and that's that's what we, you've seen. Um, so not only are your property tax going up, your sales tax, your special assessments, but now your water bill is going up too, and your landfill costs, and every time you flush your toilet, you're flushing that money down the drain with it. So I vote no against that. I am the liaison to uh, the utilities. Um, so I should I have the most knowledge uh, from the commission standpoint on this issue, um, but yeah, it's uh, something that didn't need to happen. The other thing was demolishing uh, dangerous buildings. So we're not going out here as a city and proactively trying to find places to buy and demolish and then resell. These are dangerous homes. Uh, these are homes that think about if it's in your in your neighborhood, uh, a home with a swastika, you know, spray painted on the side and no one's there to fix it. Do doors kicked in and uh, you know. Animals and, and, and vagrants are, are living in there. Uh, this, it's a dangerous situation. We don't want people in there because if they get hurt, what happens then? Um, <clears throat> so we are looking at homes that people complain about. We have a long, drawn-out process to make sure that that home is taken care of. <clears throat> Ultimately, what we do is we try to find the owner. Usually, we can't find an owner for well, multiple reasons. And then we end up uh, contacting the bank. They don't want it because uh, it's not worth anything to them and no one's paying the mortgage or no one's paying taxes on that house. Actually, they end up owing, owing money to the city. And so because they didn't pay the property taxes, we, we take that home uh, and de demolish it and then end up with a, a piece of property. Sometimes we sell that property. Uh, sometimes it just sits on the books. So uh, we're trying to find the, the best way forward for that. And ultimately, uh, demolishing these homes is, is the option that we have right now. If you have questions about the January 2nd meeting, contact me. Uh, you can call Facebook, email, whatever you want to do. Uh, but uh, this was that recap for that meeting, and please keep watching how we're spending your tax dollars. Thank you.